Hello guys, today I will show you everything about attacking in 1433 formation. Consider subscribing my channel if you haven't done it by now. And let's go into the video. We will start with first phase of the attack with playing out from the back. Target of this phase is to take the ball to more advanced zones on the pitch, as you can see now in the picture. The main rule about playing out from the back is that we always want to have in this zone, in our defensive zone, at least one more players than the opponents have there. As you can see now, we have two central defenders against one red player in this zone and we can play out easily here. If he decides to go there, we can play there. And if he decides to go there, we can play there and continue to the higher zone. The opponents can react by putting their second player to cover both of our central defenders. In situation like this, it is still very simple. We can use our number six to drop back a little and by that we will create three versus two situation in this zone. We can play to our number six, he can turn around and play forward to any of his options. Of course, our number six can be covered as well. In case like this, we can use one of these two lanes to drop back our number 10 or our number 8. If the opponents will not follow our number 10 or our number number 8 because they just don't want to commit more players into the pressing, then it is good for us and we can just play number 10 and continue forward. But if they decide to follow us, our number 10 or number 8, it is also good for us because if number 10 drops back there, he is followed by a red player. This move creates a lot of space right there and it can be used by our fullback to receive the ball direct from the goalkeeper. If the other red player will decide to follow instead of this one, for example this one, it will create space there which can be used by our number 9 with a little help of number 6 to take this player away and we can use this small lane to pass the ball directly to the number 9. If the opponents will commit even more players to push forward, we have three options to react. In case like this, our first option is to try to use wall passes to play out from the back. For example, we can use number 10 to create passing lane to number 4 in this way. You can use, for example, number 8 to do a wall pass and create passing lane to number 6. Our second option is to try to create free space, to receive the ball in this zone by using rotational movement for our free midfield players. It can be performed by any two players in the midfield, for example number 6 can go to number 10 position and number 10 to number 6 position. We can do this, do this like this as well. But more effective is to use free man rotation, just like this. Remember that any rotation that you will perform in this zone will cause the opponents to move. And every movement by the opposition is a chance for them to make a mistake. Third option for us, when the opponents committed a lot of players to push forward, is to play the, bo the ball in this zone into a free versus free situation. We can target for the striker to cooperate with number 10 or number 8 and we can target the winger as well to try to create 2v1 situation on the wing. Okay, now when we have the ball into this zone we can go to our second phase and target of this second phase of attack is to put the ball in one of these two zones in order to make a final pass into this zone or to put the ball into this zone directly to create chance for scoring the goal. The two most important positions for me in second phase of the attack is number 10 and number 8, so attacking midfielders and number 3 and number 2, so our fullbacks. It is important for number 10 and number 8 to operate between the 
enemy's defense line and midfield line and also between the opponent's fullback and central back while having our wingers our number 11 and number 7 positioned really wide it will confuse the opponent's fullbacks and no, no matter what he will decide it will create space right there or right there and if the opponents will decide to put one more player in this in this defensive action it will create space behind the enemy line for our number nine to exploit and creates goal scoring chance the most general way of creating space to move with the ball forward is to pass the ball between your four defenders remember that every pass is shifting the opponent and when they are shifting their positions they can make a mistake and create a gap that we can play in it's not about passing just for passing every player needs to be aware that they are passing the ball to find the possibility of playing forward number four is passing to number three number 11 is not possible 10 not possible 9 not possible ball goes back to number four 6 is not possible, ball comes to number 5 and then we found a gap. We're playing in this gap and we can continue forward. It is all about how fast can you circulate the ball without losing quality and accuracy of passing. I said before that fullbacks are very important in second phase of attack and now I'm going to show you why. We can use our fullbacks to make a very dangerous diagonal runs with the ball. If this player will be cut out of position by the pass from number 4 to number 3, number 3 can do the diagonal run all by himself. And when this red player is not out of the position, we can use our number 10, our attacking midfielder, just to make a wall pass to use number 3 again in this zone. Next way to take our fullback with the ball into this zone is to use our number 6 in this way to pass the ball right there using wall pass and now the fullback in this zone is really dangerous for the opponents because one of them need to step out of his position and attack this fullback and now number 3 so our fullback can use our number 6 to exploit this space that is left by this player and number 6 can continue to number 10 on or number 9 next way that you can use your fullbacks in 4-3-3 formation is to make different kind of passing combinations between fullback, winger and attacking midfielder we can use combination like this with fullback running from far position and that's why he's harder to track, harder to cover. We can use this combination with more diagonal run from number three. Using fullback running from position this far is really dangerous because all he that he needs to do is to win position with this player. If he managed to do so, at this point he's at his full speed and these players can't react because they can't get to their full speed in one second they would need to start running a lot earlier and this in turn will leave free space to our number 11 or to our number 9 the next way that you can use to create attack in 4-3-3 formation is to attract opponents to one side of the field by passing the ball there and use your number 11, number 3, number 10, number 9, number 6, number 4 in this place you can use number 8 here as well and now you can play a small passing game in this side of the pitch to attract the opponents to this place because if they want to come here in big numbers you will outplay them and continue into this side to create a goal scoring chance but while they're putting their numbers on this side of the pitch to overcome your passing game and because in 4-3-3 formation you have three strikers you can put one of your strikers on the other side of the pitch and when you successfully attracted a lot of players to one side of the pitch 
you can now by using your central defenders and fullback you can switch the play to the other side to number 7. Of course he won't have as much space as you can see now but if you will pass fast enough you will create here one on one, one situation and it will be very very dangerous for the opponents because this is a winger and for sure he has a good dribbling abilities. The next way that you can use to beat the opponents in this zone is to use your striker to drop back for the ball. He can drop for example into this half space and this pass will make the opponents nearest to him to decide. And each of these moves will create space for our other players. For number 6 right there, for number 3 right there, and for number 10 right there. And if nobody will follow our, our number 9, he can just turn around and play forward to number 10, to number 11, he can switch the side, he can do whatever he wants. In order to play through this zone you can also use a lot of passing combinations through the middle or through the side of the field. I won't show them to you in this video because they are already in my other videos. You can see link to the playlist with these videos at the top of your screen now. Ok guys, that's all that I wanted to show you today. Please remember to subscribe to not miss my next videos. Comment if you have any questions, leave like, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.